This race recap brought to you by Phillips Connect, technology that moves us forward. The NHRA was in action in the land of fireworks and the $1 for a pound of ice cream. Summit Motorsports Park in Norwalk, Ohio, rolled out the red carpet for the Camping World Drag Racing Series, and man, was it a party. Mike Salinas has shown signs of greatness in his top fuel career, but now he's showing he's the best driver on the tour. Salinas won for the fourth time this season by beating Josh Hart and moving into the points lead. This victory marked the seventh of Salinas' career, and now he has won races in Phoenix, Charlotte, Epping, and Norwalk. Mike, your team was in a mosh pit on the starting line celebrating. You will leave the top fuel points leader. How does that sound? Amazing. Um, Just did our thing all day long. The crew, the crew, the crew. Um, Pet Boys, Valley Services, uh, Redline Oil, Impact Safety, um, Pleasanton Ready Mix, Adams Pools, did it again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Robert Hyde has won a lot of races. He has won at a lot of different racetracks, but the one blemish on an otherwise impressive resume that has spanned 57 victories over 17 years has been a win at Summit Motorsports Park in Norwalk, Ohio. That is, until Sunday. Hyde finally collected the win he coveted most when he crossed the finish line first ahead of Bob Tasca Sunday. The win put Hyde back in the points lead. Six finals, four Wallys, you're the points leader. That will summarize the first 10 races of this season for you. How do you define it? Oh, I think it's awesome. I'm, I'm so proud of this team. Uh, they've worked so hard. AAA, everybody behind us. Chevrolet, Cornwell Tools was here with us, but AAA of Ohio this weekend was a big deal. They love coming out here to the races and a bunch of new faces, but uh, it shows that we're legit here and we're here to win. But you know what? We've got two weeks to get ready for Denver and go out there and try to sweep the swing, and that, that's exactly what this Auto Club team's going to do. I want to thank John Powers, Power Solar, everybody that helps us. I've had so, so much fun this week being with my family on the road, and we just had a great time. I, I'm not ready for it to end. When the smoke cleared from Bristol last week as the tour moved to Norwalk, Erica Enders moved right into her role as a dominating driver. In what has seemed like a series of match races, Enders beat Elite Motorsports teammate Aaron Stanfield in their third straight final round matchup. After watching her shot at four straight victories quite literally go up in smoke one week ago at Bristol Dragway when she had an engine let go in the final round, Enders returned to her winning ways on Sunday. Enders got away first in the final and drove to the win after a nearly three-hour rain delay between the semifinal and final rounds. And the trophy is in the hands of our winner here in Norwalk. And Erica, prior to the finals, you said that you know how hard you have worked to get to the top. That awareness, how does it make you a better driver? You just kind of go back to the old days and you remember how long this journey has been. This is my 18th season in Pro Stock, and I'm, I'm sure some of the viewers are sick of this milling performance Chevy Camaro being parked in the winner's circle. But we went seven years winning this. <laughs> And I drove for multiple teams and struggled to find money, but I finally found a home here at Elite Motorsports. These guys believe in me more than I do, and, and I don't ever have to question where they stand. And I'll tell you what, as a driver, that clears my mind, and it, it makes me question nothing. So I cannot be more proud of these guys, but for Melling Performance, again, we're going to Jackson, Michigan tomorrow to visit the, the Melling family and all their great employees. So we get to take some really badass hardware to show them. And... Uh, I'm so proud, Amanda. Angel Sampe knows how to win. And after an admitted internal battle since losing in the final round in Bristol, the three-time NHRA champion found her way to the winner's circle Sunday. Sampe stopped Joey Gladstone to pick up her 46th career victory, adding to her legacy as the winningest female in the sport. Deep in trust today. In those moments, what do you lean on to remind yourself how capable you are? First and foremost, I'll give all the glory to God, and that's where I leaned. But you know what? I really did... I really did deep, dig deep inside this weekend. I mean, my team is always Vance and Hines, unbelievable team. Mission on board. We got Suzuki behind us. Hey, Amaya. Hey, Ava. Hey, Seth. Mom, Dad, I love you guys. But you know what? I had to dig all the way down and find every ounce of faith in myself, especially after this rain delay. It took all I had to stay calm. But you know what? I did it. I made a couple of mistakes this weekend, but we prevailed. Terry, we did it. Hey, Byron, we did it. Only 1,000th separated Pro Modified finalist Chris Thorne and Ricky Smith as they left the starting line. But at the finish line, it was another story. Chris Thorne thundered to his third NHRA race win, stopping the door slammer icon Ricky Smith in the final.
Bill Skillman picked up his third factory stock showdown victory of the season, beating David Barton, who had a 009 reaction time in the final round. Barton held on until the lights when Skillman caught him at the end with only five inches to spare. In the top alcohol divisions, Matthew Cummings saved his best for last, winning the dragster portion by defeating veteran driver Alan Bradshaw. Doug Gordon was the man in the top alcohol funny car division as he stopped DJ Cox in the final. The majority of the Lucas Oil divisions ran on Saturday evening in anticipation of bad weather rolling in on Sunday, as you will see in this welded high-performance sportsman recap. Scott Chamnus picked up an easy comp final win as Frank Aragona's J-Altered Automatic Roadster was shut off on the starting line. Tyler Bohannon picked up his second career NHRA title, winning the Superstock crown over Joe Santangelo and spoiling his chances for a double-up win. Santangelo, also in the stock final, didn't go home empty-handed as he won a double breakout final round against Brett McFarland's A-Stocker. Santangelo was eighth out too quick, while McFarland went almost four hundredths under trying to run him down. In one of the closest races of the event, Supercom saw Patrick Devadas take home his first national event win, even though his 001 reaction time put him second in leaving the starting line. Devadas was 005 better at the stripe and that made all the difference to beat Bob Pros. Lucas Oil sponsored driver Dwayne LaFleur made the most of his first national event career final round, stopping Dave Copstick to pick up win number one on the national stage. LaFleur was 006 on the tree, taking just three foul at the stripe for the victory. Al Kenny picked up his 10th career NHRA title, scoring the win in top dragster when Karma Hopper couldn't make the final round call. It was Steve Yeager closing out the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series winners as he beat Glenn Butcher, who couldn't put the number up on the board in the final round of Top Sportsman. The drag racing world lost a champion. Bill Bader Sr., the driving force behind the Norwalk experience, died on Sunday in an accident. Our prayers are with the Bader family, the team at Summit Motorsports Park, and the many people who called him friend. The NHRA returns to action in two weeks with the Dodge Mile High Nationals at Bandemir Speedway for the start of the famed Western Swing. I'm Kathy Fisher, reporting for Competition Plus TV. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest in drag racing content and some awesome old school races. Make sure you check out the Competition Plus Power Hour with the Monday morning racer Lee Craft and Slammin' Sammy Smith every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter channels. It's easy to stay in the know. Download the CompetitionPlus.com mobile app. Sign up for push notifications to get notified of breaking news and the latest feature stories and videos. It's a free download at the iTunes Store and Google Play. Get your CompetitionPlus.com apparel today. Whether it's our nitro-burning funny car design or the vibrant door slammer design, we have the swag to show you are always in the know. Get yourself a hat too. And we know not everyone enjoys wearing a mask, but if you must wear one, at least wear a good-looking one. Check out the new CompetitionPlusApparel.com for the latest from the place where you have trusted for your news on the internet for over two decades.